Okay, so yesterday I did my 20 pound of clay and uh, started to do the bowl. The bowl went really well at the beginning, but because it was reclaimed and it was too wet, um, I drew it out too quickly and it slumped on me. So there will be, <laughs> at, the big, at the end of the uh, talked through throwing a 20, uh, centering a 20 pound piece of clay, there will be <laughs> a little bit of a highlight at the end to show you how it went wrong. So I've just recentered. this is the same clay. Um, I had a little bit left. So this is the same clay, but I did it without talking. And I will also put that up because you'll see, I'll put that at the end probably of the talk through one, because that will show you it in real time without having to think about what I'm doing. And I know having the cameras running um, is on my mind. Um, so I will say things that I think are prudent, but I'm actually just gonna work through this one. Um, without saying anything for a bit. If I say something, well, I will talk through it. Let's see how we go, let's see how we go. So I'm going down again, I'm just trying to get down to about an inch at the bottom because as we know, um, so that's, that's over an inch. As I've said, I wanted to um, just take that down a bit. I want to carve it and um, doesn't really matter how big the bottom is. The main issue that I had there, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my, my electric, if I can reach it, uh, put my electric dryer um, heater in the plug. And grab my gas one because clearly what I didn't do last time was dry it early enough. But we'll see, we'll see this time how it goes. So I've got that as well. So I am drawing the middle out, and as I said yesterday, I'm drawing the middle out now, I'm like this, with fingers in and drawing it and drawing it up, but I'm doing it so that I'm really trying not to throw the whole unit off centre. Uh, so I'll carry on with that. And I'm leaning back now with the pressure, speeding the wheel up, and I'm leading, leaning back with the pressure my body weight to do the work so I'm digging in with my fingers and then I'm drawing back with both hands gently trying not to interfere with the getting it off center and just going back in and just checking that I'm compressing the base at every opportunity at this stage though as I said I'm cutting this bottom bit out but I've not had anything touch wood at the moment I've not had anything crack on me ever and I don't consciously um, really work hard on the base, but clearly I'm getting it right. I, so, yeah. Let's go again. Looking down, trying to definitely not, I can feel it going a bit. And that's because I can, I can feel myself not slipping on the clay. Now, you'll see me do this. I realise that I work both ways, even though I'm working into the clay there. That's just something that if I feel something is, and I can feel that that is slightly moving out. So I'm just gonna put a bit of pressure on that. Get that back to where we can be. And Turned it up a little bit to work on my inside. I'm putting one finger, the fingers on top of the others to put pressure down. But 
I can do that with the gloves. Bringing in the foam just to flatten it out. And just double check what my, yeah, I've got a whole needle, whole needle point there, which is way plenty for what I want to do. Really probably too deep, but better to have too much. I have a bit of a habit of um, making my foot too thin and I love to trim, but I know that I do it. I'm going to come out once more. I don't want it too high on the on the speed. So I've got my full width there in the middle, but as I said, there's a few pounds of clay in the bottom of this, so though it's a 20 pound piece of clay I'm using, in reality I know that I've got all that in the bottom to trim it out. Right. Using slip on the... Now, as we said, we don't want, if we can help it, to put, add, be adding um, a load of water. Okay, there we go, we're going in. I'm putting pressure with the right hand and just drawing up a difficult, I'm using my iPad over there, so I can't really do anything, but I do need to obviously get some better ways of filming what I'm doing. So I'm putting pressure up there not really touching it with anything else but just using yeah it's really weird how I feel when I'm I realize glazing and talking to everybody in front of the screen is is fine but I really get myself into a bit of a pickle um, videoing myself when I'm doing something that I'm Attempting, but the whole point is, is the whole point of the channel really is, is my experience, my learning through my, you know, me learning to do bits and taking challenges. I love to pressure myself, so I'm pushing in and I'm drawing up, putting a little bit of pressure on the inside, but not really much. Then I've got a flat finger on the inside. I can feel it going a bit, so let me just bring that back in. Straighten that in a second. Not very, not particularly fast. Make sure that I've got a slippery inside for the hat, for the, for the thing. But as you can see, I've got a slip on my glove that is helping me there. And slip on the outside. I can feel that I'm a bit thicker there, so I'm just going to bring that up. I do want this bowl to be a reasonable thickness because, as I said, there's five other bowls going on the top. Okay. Again, going in. I've got two fingers. I mean, I don't know what I do really, but I've got two fingers putting pressure on that, on the tip of the of the sponge, and it's one of the mud clays. Sponges that I'm using at the moment. Okay. Bring that in a little bit. 
pressure on the whole of the outside to bring the top in a bit. I just cleaned the floor in here because I just realised how bad it had got because I'm a bit of a a bit of a slob when it comes to to the to when clay flies everywhere. I actually enjoy the fact that I stop being, you know, I just let it be whatever mess I get into. There's a time when you just suddenly think I've got to tidy this up now. Right, let's just try and relax as I'm coming up. as we saw on, and, and when it collapsed for me yesterday it is a lot to do with you know trying not to do it with too much clay too much water right now I'm putting more pressure on I think in the bottom to really see if I can move the bottom clay then as soon as I feel that I'm up to the right thickness, I'm sh changing my arm, my upper arm position so that it's just got something to push against. I'm much more relaxed today. I think pottery, especially when you work for a living, I think pottery is so much about trying to get your headspace into that, that, that moment in time. I'm a very busy, busy businesswoman. I have um, a lot on my plate. My mum's been poorly, and I just know when I get in here, if I can just relax myself, if I can just take it one step of you know thinking nothing about anything else, it just does work for me. Making sure everything's slippery again. Now I've got a good, still got quite. I've got a sort of curve on the inside, and I've got. A, good chunk of clay still at the bottom there and obviously that depth so I'm going to go in again and just keep going till I, I've gone in a long way that time let's just bring that up nice and gently I'm putting pressure on the inside as well at this point and then now I'm just taking the pressure off so the outside and the inside are just starting to work as one so the, the pressure is always on the top and I'm sort of doing it that way. Now I'm going out a bit and because I do want this to go in a bit, let me just bring it in a bit at the top. Without... Got not enough slip on it to, for the gloves. And this is the problem. We don't want too much water yet. What am I doing? Adding loads of water. I don't want it too fast when I'm doing this. I have got a mirror there. Oh, it can't, it's too close in. But Right. One more. Look at the cameras and see that you can see the whole thing as to where I am at the moment. Yeah, you can see it in that one. Yeah, good, you can see it in this one. So, if I do any drawing out, I will. Just take this last bit here that I can feel is thicker. And I'm not doing anything there, I'm just letting it. Let's just see how big we made that. And, and I've got a good 10 centimetre thick pot here. 
it's at least 10 centimeters sorry 10 millimeters on the pot thickness because i um as i've said i want to make sure that i keep it as thick as possible but what we'll do is we will clear the slip off of this that's what i didn't do yesterday so at the moment um 23 high by 30 wide at the top um yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear the slip off on the inside as well um let me use um, uh, a little red a red jelly thing for that Do the same for the outside before I start to shape it. I will have to get some more water back on it, but hopefully taking, if you have a look, that's quite a lot of um, moisture. Okay. Now, what I could do is I can use this inside because we know that this is going to slip. And then I can start putting a bit of pressure as I draw up. And then what I've got to do is then no pressure here and I'm pushing in at the top. I think a lot of this is learning to really slow down. Because I'm using the, um, the gloves actually it's um i'm using the glove as a tool okay it's good it's better much better than yesterday I'm going to do though I don't feel there's a need um, is it it's a lot drier than yesterday um, but there's a point where the pressure does need drying the, the weight where the weight is here is where the risk starts to happen so I will now and I've actually got it more centered than than what I did yesterday so that's good for me good news Okay, do you know, I feel that's so much better. I'm going to draw it now and then decide how much more I want to put it out. I'm going to show you as well the other piece that has got to go on the top of this. I'm going to measure it. Um, I'll fit that into the middle of the, of the video and that will give you an idea um, what I'm trying to make. Okay, so videoing again. I've just been drying it for a little while. But I thought I'd just start do a bit more drying with you involved. So I've got basically the I remember watching a video um, of a, a, a training video, of, and the guy was making a big bowl, and he had a stand, and he had one of the. Um, heat guns and he walked away for two minutes he just left it going around it was a vase um but i've also done it wrong and ended up cracking the inside so you have to have a little bit of um 
thought as you're doing it. I'm going to now to stretch out again. And if you imagine that being cut out as a bowl with that top bit trimmed away, you can see that realistically there's not that whole bottom inch there is the foot. Okay, I'm feeling very good about that now. So, let me go and I'll pause the video and then I will show you the one that's going to sit on top and you'll get an idea and we'll look at the size differences together. And before I do that, I'm just going to square off the this because this bottom bit is where um, where it's sitting on the floor. So I'm just going to put a I'm just going to put something in here to try and make that. look that that's not causing any pressure and just use a metal Good. Gives me a nice Yeah, I'm just gonna take off as much as I can any more. Okay, that's feeling really good. Again, just check that it's now level. It's level. That's feeling pretty good. Okay, stop it there, and then let's show you what this will end up looking like. Okay, so this is the piece that is going to go on to the th one we've just thrown. Um, if I show you the underneath of this, that's the flat foot you can see that I've made. And then I've thrown a slit, I've carved out. This is where it would be an inch thick. I've carved that all away to leave me with a really nice bit that the, the unit will sit on. The top, the next one will sit on and we know, though it's not accurate, it's never going to fall off itself. So if I just, I haven't got my full tape measure here, but this is sitting at about 29 inches across the width, 29 centimeters across the width of the, 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 the thing. And this one here is, without getting anything out, it's about 37 before it dries out. This one's fully dried, it's all ready to go in the kiln. Let me show you what it's going to look like if I do it gently, because these are at the moment uh, not fired. These are leather hard. 
So you've seen me make one before for my garden. Um, this is a commission. What's good about this one is I've added extra slip because I felt that I really wanted to hear more water as it moved. Um, and then the top. Looks like I've got to take the camera back. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that is the water feature that I'm making. And then if you imagine, this will be the big version for the bottom. So really looking forward to getting this one done. Um, it's going to be painted in the same way as the last one, uh, the matte black underneath and then the palladium, because, you know, if I go out to this today it's sun's out um, as you know it's lovely so that's the aim okay well thanks very much everybody for for joining me on this little journey and um, it's good to make mistakes because you slow yourself up and you think what have I got to do to achieve <clears throat> and get it done um, and I enjoyed that today um, really fulfilling so you know just calm yourself down just slow yourself down when things don't go right don't put so much pressure on yourself that you don't enjoy your pottery anymore um i'm sure like all of you we're watching a lot of production potters uh, we're learning so much from these guys when they're showing us it on on uh, on youtube but you know we're not production potters every piece we make we want to develop into something uh, really special um, so you know just take your time calm down slow down walk away if, if, if it's not going right and come back and think yeah this I'm, this is an enjoyment um, and that's what I do so okay thanks guys see you soon